All right, don't panic. But what we have here is an absolutely positively blank document. So what I've done is I've stripped out everything that I've done so far, and I've relabeled everything as style blank, index blank, script blank. And we're going to start from scratch here and redo this from the start. So let's get started. The first thing that we'll want to do um, when we're setting up this website is A, create a map div to get a, you know, a leaflet map in there, and also link to all of the various files we'll need to play with leaflet. So first things first, let's do a link. And when you download leaflet, the leaflet JavaScript library, you get a zipped file. And it comes with a leaflet.js file, a leaflet.css file, and an images folder. What you need to do, of course, is copy the leaflet.js into your JS folder and the leaflet.css into your CSS folder on your website. You should also copy the images in the images folder into your images folder on your website. Since I've already done that, let's link to the leaflet.css right now. And here we go. All right. And of course, we're going to have our own style sheet, which in the demo that I showed you that was working was called style.css. Here it's going to be called style underscore blank because I am redoing the site. So and heck with typing it all out, right? Cool. We've got that. There's also, I really like using um, Google fonts, so I know I've showed this in other tutorials, but if you type in, you know, Google web fonts, you can go here and pick a, a fun font for a button or your title or whatnot. And let's just pick, yeah, let's pick Roboto Slab. So to do that, whoops, close that out too early. Pretty easy. All right, we'll just do PT Sans. Why not? Tap there, tap here, scroll down. We don't need all of the different ones. I guess we could download bold, but that takes quite a bit. Actually, we'll only need bold. Let's go bold. And we'll just copy this into our head. It's just like a CSS. Well, it is a CSS, I guess. All right, so we're good. Let's go into the body. Now, in Leaflet, you need only one thing in your body, and it doesn't even show up much in HTML. It's pretty straightforward. You need a div with an ID name of map. Punct. That being said, maybe we want a title over our map or something. We can add that later. We're not going to worry about that. The other thing that we need in this, um, in this map is we need to import our scripts. So first things first, let's import some jQuery. I already downloaded it. Next, let's import leaflet. Remember I said if you download it as a zip, you should save the leaflet.js file into your folder. It's important that you don't ever mess with this. It's tempting to think, oh, I'm making a leaflet map. I'll tweak the JS and leaflet. Don't do that. This is it's kind of uh, the library's code, so to speak, source code. And then we'll link to the file we will play with, which is a JavaScript file which is completely blank right now. And it is stored under script underscore blank. Sweet! So if I hit save and everything's working as it should, we shouldn't see anything. Because basically we have an empty map div. And that's it. So let's make sure nothing's working. Perfect. Actually, nothing's working means everything's working. And notice that I have the title here, GeoJSON Rules. It's showing up. We're all set. All right, now let's set up our um, CSS file. So I will open style blank. And we have to give the map div a height and normally you do this in pixels, but if you want to take up the whole screen, there's a pretty easy way to do this. You type HTML, comma, body, comma, ID name, map, height, 
100% what the hey with 100% What was the name of the font I imported? I already forgot. PT Sans. All right, I'll try this. If you forget, you can always go back to Google Fonts. They'll tell you what to type. All right, we'll hit save. Good. Now, um, next step, we need to get in a slippy map. So let's go to our script blank thing here. And for those of you that don't know how to get a leaflet map into your browser up and running, please view one of my earlier tutorials. I don't want to you know, beat a dead horse here. You need two components generally. You need to create a variable called map, and it should be a new leaflet map. You tell it which div to go into. You give it a center point, a zoom level, a minimum zoom and a maximum, a variety of options here you can decide. And that's that. The second component is the tile layer. So basically you've created a map but there's nothing in it. And so then you want to add, generally, almost every time you want to add tiles, maybe not if you just have SVG graphics, but um, so that you create a new tile layer, leaflet tile layer, you give an address where you can find the tiles and almost every Tile server serves them up this way with the um, same very similar format. This one from Mapbox I created on my own using Mapbox Studio, which is pretty cool. You can create at least one free tile map, style it your own way, and you have to copy your little API or key in here. But generally it looks the same. You have the ZXY at the end, .png, and then you add it to the map, and this should work. Let's check it out. I'll hit save. Click on Preview, and there we go. Ah, oh, it's doing the index though. Let's do index blank and make sure it's working. Actually, on my index page, ignore this. I added a little button so it goes to the index blank page, and it's still not working. Hmm. All right. So let's hit save. What could possibly be wrong? I have my hunch. Hmm. Aha! I'm missing the JS folder name here. So something as little as that can hold you up, but, you know, just look and look and look and you'll start to notice the common mistakes you make. I tend to not be a detailed person, which haunts me on a daily basis. So here we go. We've got our slippy map from um, Mapbox here. We can zoom in, zoom out. Everything's working. Wonderful. So it's good to go back and, you know, check occasionally, make sure things are working after you tweak things. There nothing was, so that wasn't so good. Now, the next, now that we have the map set up and we've basically set up our HTML, CSS, and our leaflet map, in the next section I'm going to show you how to add a GeoJSON file. And that's the fun part. So stay tuned, and remember, don't get frustrated. When you make mistakes, just keep looking for what ha what's going wrong, and once you find it, pat yourself on the back or... Crack open a beverage of your choice. Cheers!